Ah. Good. <laughs> Parkinson's disease affects um, how you move. And a lot of times everyone thinks just those bigger movements um, that you can see, like walking. But part of the brain that's impaired affects all muscles <laughs> and all muscle activity, including the swallow muscles. And so as the disease progress progresses, you begin to have uh, difficulty with swallowing. So the EMG electrodes, we're gonna put two right here, and then we're gonna put two right here. If those muscles don't work correctly, you will get um, foreign material down into the lungs um, and it'll lead to aspiration pneumonia, which is actually one of the leading causes of death for people with Parkinson's disease. There it is. There we go. Okay. Developing a, a, a treatment protocol using, you know, for music therapy and Parkinson's disease can affect multiple things. How they move, uh, like all the things that we're testing in here, how they move, their stress level, their bonding and social experiences, depression, anxiety. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. What happens is that the muscles that you use to lift that palate are the same muscles that you use to swallow. So in essence, it's kind of like we're doing little mini exercises for those same muscles that you use to swallow to make them stronger and to work uh, more coordinatedly. <laughs> Music is going to affect the whole person, <laughs> right? Which you could give a drug, but you know, one drug may affect how they move, but then they have to take another drug for being, maybe having depression and another drug for anxiety. Because some people, uh, we see a significant drop in cortisol and reduced, you know, which may indicate uh, reduction in stress. And we don't see any overt increases in cortisol um, that would suggest that we're stressing them out. And stress can make their symptoms worse. What I'll uh, have you do is just walk down, turn around and walk back towards me. What I thought would improve would be more related to what we were doing in the singing, like posture and whatnot. Uh, it turns out that tremor and walking got significantly better after singing, and I was like, what the heck is going on there? So that was pretty interesting. Show me the radio, show me the radio. Using music instead of a drug, you can treat more symptoms or, of Parkinson's disease.